in Jesus, God's kingdom has already arrived. God's kingdom is not yet here in its fullness and perfection, yet it is already here in its beginning stage, and it is full of grace and power. Indeed, this new era of God's kingdom in Jesus is dominated by the Holy Spirit, and because of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, kingdom miracles abound, and the new creation has already begun. The Bible teaches us that there is only one true God and that He eternally exists in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And yet, they are not three gods. They are one God. The Holy Spirit is 100% God. He is equal to God the Father and God the Son. He is infinitely powerful, but He is not a power or a force. The Bible teaches us that the Holy Spirit is a person. He is infinitely intelligent. He has emotions and He has a will. Acts chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 tells us that the Holy Spirit is the promise of God the Father. In Acts chapter 2 verse 38, the Holy Spirit is God's gift to all who repent and believe in Jesus. Note that promise in Acts chapter 1 verse 4 and gift in Acts chapter 2 verse 38 are both singular. This means that the Holy Spirit is not just one of the many promises and gifts that God gives to Christian believers. Instead, He is the promise of God the Father. This means that all the other promises and gifts of God are byproducts of God's one great overarching gift and promise. And God's one great overarching gift and promise is none other than the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit Himself. The Bible proclaims that Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. After paying for sins and rising from the dead, he went to heaven and he asked God the Father to give the Holy Spirit to all who believe in him. John the Baptist preached in the wilderness, The Messiah will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. This means that Jesus washes, cleanses, and purifies Christian believers with the Holy Spirit. Washed and purified with the Holy Spirit, all who believed in Jesus are then accepted as God's children and members of His family and kingdom. Sin is dirt. Sin is mud. Sin is filth. And it makes us unclean. Sin separates us from God. Do you feel lonely? Do you feel that God is far away from you? If you have not yet accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, then the filth and the pollution of sin has not yet been washed away from you. And because of sin, you are separated from God. You need Jesus. You need the Holy Spirit. Talk to Jesus. Thank Him for dying on the cross for you. Ask Him to forgive your sins and ask Him to give you the Holy Spirit. If you do that, Jesus will forgive your sins. He will give you the Holy Spirit. He will wash and cleanse and purify you through the Holy Spirit. He will remove and wash away the filth and pollution of sin from you. Then you will become a child of God. You will become a member of His family and kingdom in Jesus. Now, the baptism with the Holy Spirit makes us holy before God. Yes, the washing away of the filth and pollution of sin from us by the Holy Spirit, that makes us holy and acceptable to God. This means that holiness is a gift from God. We can never make ourselves holy. That is impossible. And that is the reason why Jesus came to save us. He died on the cross to pay for sins. 
And then he asked the Father to give us the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, he washed away our sins and made us holy. Through the Holy Spirit, Jesus made us acceptable to God and members of his family and kingdom. God's word tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2, that all Christian believers have already been sanctified or made holy in Jesus, and we are called holy. Then we read in Romans chapter 15, verse 16, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2, that we Believers in Jesus have already been sanctified and made holy through the Holy Spirit. And so, holiness is truly a gift from God. And because of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we are already holy. We are not striving to overcome sin and obey God's word in order for us to become holy and acceptable to God. That is wrong. God's word tells us that because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross and the Holy Spirit, we are already holy and accepted by God. And because we are already holy and accepted by God in Jesus, we strive to overcome sin and obey God's word by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so Christianity is not law-based or works-oriented. Instead, Christianity is gospel-based and grace-oriented. You can never become holy and acceptable to God through good works. On the contrary, you can only become holy and acceptable to God through the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Again, if you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then the filth and the pollution of sin has not yet been washed away from you, and because of sin, you are separated from God. You need Jesus. You need the Holy Spirit. Talk to Jesus. Thank Him for dying on the cross for you. Ask Him to forgive your sins and ask Him to give you the Holy Spirit. If you do that, He will forgive your sins and He will give you the Holy Spirit. Then He will wash, cleanse, and purify you through the Holy Spirit. He will remove and wash away the filth and pollution of sin from you. Then you will become holy and acceptable to God. You will become a child of God. You will become a member of His family and kingdom in Jesus. Now, if you are already a Christian believer, the Bible says that you are already holy and accepted by God because of the blood of Jesus and because of the Holy Spirit. Thank Him for His free gift of holiness and salvation. Then ask Him to fill you with the Holy Spirit so that you can overcome sin and obey His Word. Secondly, ask God to save your family and friends from the filth and pollution of sin. Ask Jesus to help you share the gospel to them. Then ask the Holy Spirit, to help your family and friends to repent from their sins and believe in Jesus. Let us pray. God, thank you for sending Jesus to die for our sins and to give us the Holy Spirit. Thank you that because of the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the filth and the pollution of sin have already been washed away from us. Thank you that because of the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we are already holy and accepted by you. Please forgive us of our sins and please continue to wash and cleanse us by the blood of Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. 
fill us also with the Holy Spirit and cause us to submit to Him and follow Him. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and help us to overcome sin by His grace and power. God, we pray for those who have not yet accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. They are still covered with the filth and pollution of sin, and they need you. Please fill us with the Holy Spirit and help us to share the gospel to them. Help us to lead them to Jesus and help them to repent and believe in Jesus. Lord, billions of people worldwide are covered with the filth and pollution of sin. They need Jesus. They need the Holy Spirit. God, we pray that you would wash away the filth and pollution of sin from every church and every Christian in every city and every nation. Fill all Christian believers with your Holy Spirit and help us to overcome sin and obey your word. Help us to share the gospel to as many people as we can. Use your church worldwide to lead billions of people to repentance and faith in Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because we know that you hear our prayers. Glorify your name in all the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.